Google Glass, is that you? Google is in its Gemini era, their words. So here are the best announcements from Google I.O. 2024, where I believe if the tally was correct, they mentioned AI a minimum of 121 times in two hours. Hey friends, I'm Teja Custody, and today I'm taking you through what Sundar Pinchai considers Google's version of the era's tour, or as we call it, Google I.O. Let's go. It was all about AI at this year's Google I.O., but let's start with AI in Google search because generative search is getting even better. First, AI overviews are coming to everyone in the US this week with other countries to follow soon. AI overviews are really what we had known as Google's SGE or the search generative experience. It summarizes at the top of your search results and then gives you a quick recap of helpful information. You can expand the overview and uncover helpful links and a more detailed summary. But AI overviews are about to get even more helpful. Google announced improved multi-step reasoning. An example they showed was about finding a yoga and Pilates studio near me with intro offers and special details. And this is all done, by the way, using Gemini to power this Google search. It's figuring out which problems it needs to solve and in what order. And it's then using reasoning. It taps into info about the real world. And that's all, of course, updated in real time. And Google can just do this in mere seconds, by the way. And that's not all Google search will do for you. Planning nearly anything in Google search is about to get a whole lot easier with planning in search. I know it's aptly named. So in this planning in search example, you could with just one query export, say a meal plan, get an ingredients list, add preferred items to the shopping cart even, and more. Or you could maybe plan a trip with just one prompt. Think of it like quite literally as if Gemini is in your Google search and it is awesome. Google is really taking the hard work out of searching so you can focus on what matters to you. There's also brainstorming in search, which is basically AI organized search results that use contextual gestures, like say the time of the year, and then it pulls everything together in a full page experience. So for example, if you were planning a trip to a specific city and you want to see good restaurant recos, you now may get the results grouped in categories like date night restaurants, or maybe good business meeting restaurant spots. This feature is rolling out now and it's starting with dining and recipes and it's gonna to come to more cool categories soon. You're also going to be able to ask questions with video in Google search. Seriously, Google Lens is going to allow you to search with video. I know. Lens already allows you to search for something based on images, but this is ratcheting that up a notch. They did a live demo of this and whoa, you're gonna be able to take a video using a voice prompt and Google gives an AI overview with details. It's able to understand the question that's being asked out loud. It breaks down the video frame by frame and then analyzes that data and gathers the info from the web. So think of how useful this will be when you're trying to fix something that's broken or want more context about an object or an item you're looking at. All of these search features will be rolling out in the next few weeks. And as they mentioned at Google I.O., Google will do the Googling for you. Just ask. And Google Photos is getting a little AI update too. It's called Ask Photos. And with it, Gemini is going to be able to answer questions about your photo library, but really detailed questions. So to be clear, this goes beyond asking simple questions or asking photos to pull up an image of a specific person or maybe your passport. Soon you're gonna be able to ask photos for info you need, like what's my license plate number? So in the example that Sundar showed, it not only pulled up his license plate number, but a photo for reference as well. And he showcased examples like, when did my daughter learn to swim? and even show me how her swimming has progressed. It's really quite incredible. And this Ask Photos feature is rolling out widely this summer. Google also announced that Gemini is getting faster and more capable. It's all about multimodality and long context. They announced Gemini 1.5 Pro with long context, which 
for you really means a lot of improvements effective today. This will be available to all developers globally, and this is available for consumers via Gemini Advanced. The context window, which is really like how much info it can take in, that is expanding to 2 million tokens, which is available to developers now in private preview. And Google also introduced a new AI model, Gemini 1.5 Flash. Flash is a lightweight, fast, cost-efficient model optimized for tasks where low latency and efficiency matter the most. They said this model is just as powerful as Gemini 1.5 Pro, but it's better at generating fast responses. And Gemini is also getting more useful in Google Workspace. Love this. Gemini 1.5 Pro will soon be integrated into the sidebar for Docs, Sheets, Slides, Drive, and Gmail. This is coming in June to paid workspace subscribers, and it's gonna act really like an all-purpose assistant baked right into wherever you are in your Google Drive. So with Gemini in Gmail, as an example, you could get email summaries and better, more contextual replies. Gemini and Google Meet will provide highlights of a meeting for you, along with automatic translations and real-time captions in 68 languages now. It's also going to be able to do things for you, like write emails that incorporate info from, say, a doc that you're referencing, or even remind you to respond to an email. And to break it down a little bit further, with Gmail on mobile, you're gonna be able to summarize an email with helpful mobile card overlay, and you can ask a prompt follow-up and then it's going to search your Gmail inbox. There are more contextual suggested replies here as well. Gemini understands the context in the back and forth of the thread. These capabilities are rolling out this month to Labs users. So essentially, the side panel can help organize information from your emails. It also gives you the option to automate emails. So this works kind of with future tasks as well, and it stays up to date. And in this one example they showed, a spreadsheet is created automatically from the information in the email thread. And then that spreadsheet created also uses prompts. So it can analyze your questions further, it can do data analysis and the like. This is also rolling out to Labs users, but in September. Google also announced an AI teammate. So you can name this teammate, whatever you like. And this teammate can track data throughout your chats and it can provide summaries, flag issues, complete tasks for you. A lot of practical helpfulness here. And maybe one of the coolest announcements from Google IO 2024 is Project Astra. This is like the future come to life, seriously. Project Astra is a universal AI agent that is helpful in everyday life. And OMG, you should see this demo video. I have linked to it below for you to take it in in its entirety, but whoa. Think of Project Astra like a virtual assistant that can watch and understand what it sees through your device's camera. It's got spatial understanding, video processing, and memory, meaning it can remember where your things are or were in context to what it's looking at and what it had looked at. This is coming to Google products later this year and I cannot wait. And I'd like to interrupt this with a little bit of assumption. If you were paying attention in that Project Aster video, did you notice a little something? If you noticed what I did, Google Glass, is that you in an updated form? Check out this scene in the demo. She's picking up smart glasses, what I will affectionately call Google Glass hath risen. And it's clear they are some type of AR glasses. So what do you think? Is this the next iteration of Google Glass? Is Google leaving us an Easter egg a la Taylor Swift? Comment below if you think Google Glass hath risen. So now we've got to talk about the generative media announcements. And there are three things to touch on here. When it comes to images, it's all about Imagine 3. This will produce more photorealistic images, understand prompts the way people write, render text images better than ever, and you can sign up now to try Imagine 3 at imaginefx at labs.google. And when it comes to music, Google announced Music AI Sandbox, where you can create new instrumental sections from scratch or even make entirely new songs. It's pretty wild stuff. But then there's also video and Google announced Vio, an all new generative video model rivaling that of Sora. 
Vio will produce high quality 1080p videos from text prompts, then further edit the videos using additional prompts. You'll be able to storyboard in Vio and it should maintain consistency from shot to shot, which if it works like it shows, it'll be a game changer. Google built upon its existing and past video softwares, things like Lumiere, to create Vio. And not to be outdone, the Gemini app is going to get better at live conversations. Starting this summer with Gemini Live, you can use your voice and have conversations with Gemini. You can even interrupt while Gemini is responding and it'll react faster and more conversational. You can use your camera and Gemini will respond in real time. And for Gemini Advanced subscribers, Google is rolling out Gems, a way for you to customize Gemini to your needs. You're gonna tap to create a gem, write your instructions once, and then come back to it when you need it. So this is helpful when you have tasks or prompts that you have to come back to again and again. And speaking of Gemini Advanced, there is a whole new trip planning process in Gemini Advanced. This is wild. Also coming this summer, Gemini Advance will be able to provide a personalized vacation plan based on your travel information and wants. It will literally create a travel itinerary customized to you and your wants in a matter of seconds. It's pulling from all kinds of information like your flight and hotel info. You're going to be able to adjust your itinerary via the start time, and then Gemini will adjust your travel itinerary on the fly based on your time constraints. Other notable Gemini advanced announcements are that you're going to be able to upload multiple files, up to an hour long video or a PDF with 1500 pages. And don't worry, Google says your files are not used to train models. And finally, there are three breakthroughs when it comes to AI on your device. Specifically, Google touted having AI powered search right at your fingertips, Gemini as your AI assistant, and on device AI. When it comes to AI powered search, circle to search is getting more powerful. Not only can you use it to translate text on screen, but you can use it to circle text to figure out common problems, like say helping with math homework. And no, it won't just answer the question for you, but it'll break down the math question in steps for you. This is available now only on Android. Next, let's talk about Gemini AI Assistant. It is context aware. It works in chat. It works when watching a video. You can ask specific questions about a video. This is using signals like YouTube captions, so it can work with, gosh, billions of videos. It can summarize PDF documents. It's wild. And using on-device Gemini Nano with multimodality, meaning understanding text, sight, sounds, and spoken language prompts, your phone will give you a warning on scam calls. Gemini Nano alerts you right away in real time if a call is a scam. This feature is in testing, but it looked pretty cool. And if you can believe it, there are still more AI announcements from Google I.O. 2024 that I just can't cover in this video. It's long enough as it is. There were things like announcements on Google Gemma and shopping with Gemini and Gemini and Chrome working together. So I'm linking to the full Google I.O. 2024 video for you below should you have a couple spare hours on your hands and you wanna watch the full thing in all of its glory. And if you are in the US, you can head to labs.google to sign up for a waitlist and test out some of these AI features. It's so exciting. So what was your favorite announcement from Google I.O. 2024? Let everyone know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I want to know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more Google goodness. Thanks for watching. See you next time.